Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day, here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, here in the point lonesome swamp, in the oasis of freedom, we have stumbled into a Monday morning, that would be uh, Monday, December 6th, 2021. I believe, and uh, so I'm sure maybe one or two of you on the planet uh, noticed I did not have my weekly doomsday sermon yesterday, and uh, you need to go get that swirly like that, and uh, the reason for that, guys, is I had like six choices of doomsday sermon yesterday and I would start every one of them they would start out the same talking about how utterly doomed we were and you know just solid doom and gloom and then of course uh, you know halfway or two-thirds of the way they would suddenly uh, the entire thing w would change and uh, it would descend into just this absolute hopium-soaked, apocalyptic crap, talking about uh, all the ways that technology is going to save us, or, or, or some sort of uh, spiritual awakening is going to save this planet, or whatever. And I just gave up. You know this this epidemic. Uh, of this horse shit, uh, hopium soaked apocalyptimism, it, it, it's really become an epidemic, in the, even here in the Dumasphere. That it is getting harder and harder to, uh, to, to find uh, people willing just to sit out here and, and spell it out that we ain't turning this train around. And we need to figure out what to do uh, with the rest of our days on this planet. And, uh, you know, it's got to the point, probably simply because it's easier, where, where more and more of you are, you know, when you're sending me articles, uh, what they are, are I, I'm getting more and more submissions uh, of this hopium crap. I love this one uh, from from Mr. Z, we'll call him, from the World Economic Forum. Uh, the, <laughs> the World Economic Forum, lignocellulose, how nature's wonder material could help the energy transition. You know, as does one more talk about biofuels, you know, about how burning the planet down to save the planet. The World Economic Forum telling us uh, how to save a planet by burning it down. Uh, you, you know, guys, if you lose your sick, twisted, ironic sense of humor, good luck to you. But I do want to thank my... So I was, I was just about not to e even have a, uh, have a chronicle today, but uh, good old my... my trustworthy lieutenant lieutenant tom from vermont has saved the day once again uh this man really uh digs combs deep through the doomosphere coming from this uh outfit i think i've mentioned it before called science alert this is from their humans desk i guess they have a desk called humans all right, <laughs> and, and uh, I, I don't know, I, 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 of course this is hopium as well. Uh, this mysterious, indestructible black box will tell the future what happened to us. Well, well, well of course, you, you know, the sick, twisted irony uh, being built into this entire story 
is, is that they're doing this to communicate with the future generations, mean, meaning the future generations of humans who are going to find th this story uh, uh, of how uh, we went extinct. So how, I, I'm not sure how you have future generations of an extinct species. You know, I, I've always said, it, you, you know, it's the, uh, the irradiated cockroaches and space aliens uh, who are going to inherit this burned out husk of a planet. You know, as I told Tom, uh, we don't need a black box. We're, we're going to have, you know, that, uh, that quarter inch little brightly multicolored layer from the Plasticine, the, the, uh, the quickest geological episode in Earth's history. You know, it started, uh, I think, with the movie The Graduate in 1967 and ended less than 100 years later. The Plasticine, sometimes called the Murano scene, is going to be, you know, well, th this little mysterious little bits and pieces of multicolored flotsam and jetsam, and that's going to leave the irradiated cockroaches and space aliens scratching their heads. But anyway, <clears throat> until then, while they're digging for that, Ah, uh, damn, here goes. If it's not the battery on my camera, it's the battery on my computer. I'm going to try to get through this with these two failing batteries. All right. <clears throat> this mysterious, indestructible black box will tell the future what happened to us. <clears throat> At a distant end of the Earth, Hidden, hidden somewhere on the remote Australian island of Tasmania, a strange structure is about to witness and record the end of the world as we know it. <clears throat> the project called Earth's Black Box is a giant steel, not plastic, installation soon to be filled with hard drives powered by solar panels. You know, these solar panels which are going to disintegrate uh, after about 20 years. You know, those solar panels. Uh, each of them documenting and preserving a stream of real-time scientific updates and analysis on the gloomiest issues the world faces. <clears throat> information related to climate change, species extinction, environmental pollution, and impacts on health will all be chronicled in the monolithic structure so that if, yeah that's a big if, so that if some future society might one day discover the archive they will be able to piece together what happened to our planet. This is the Earth Black Box website. Quote, Unless we dramatically transform our way of life, climate change and other man-made perils will cause our civilization to crash. Earth's Black Box will record every step we take towards this catastrophe. Hundreds of data sets, measurements, and interactions relating to the health of our planet will be continuously collected and safely stored for future generations. Close quote. I, I absolutely d d d just love this uh, recording the demise of a planet for future generations who will never be here to find it. <clears throat> In a sense, the box which evokes the brutalist design, I think they meant the most brutal design of Norway's famous doomsday vault, actually serves a somewhat complementary purpose. While the Valbard Global Seed Vault is a fortress 
designed to protect a vital backup of the world's seeds in case the worst ever happens. You know, the, 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 uh, the storehouse that started to melt about 10 years after it was buried in the snow in, uh, in the permafrost in Norway. Yes, <coughs> Earth's black box is conceived as an ongoing record of the world's trajectory toward a dire predicament. <clears throat> All right, we have the Collapse Chronicles being recorded in Tasmania. This is uh, Jim Curtis, Executive Creative Director at Marketing Agency Clemenger BB Doe. Quote, the idea is if the earth does crash as a result of climate change, this indestructible recording device will be there for whoever is left to learn from that. It's also there to hold leaders to account to make sure their action or inaction is recorded, close quote. The project, a collaboration between the Clemenger BBDO Creative Agency, the Glue Society, the Glue Society, I love that, and researchers at the University of Tasmania is due to be completed in its undisclosed location in early 22, but the boxes systems are already partially active in that they are live recording environmental updates in a beta test. <clears throat> Part of the point of the exercise, the boxes makers say, is to help nudge humanity away from doomsday-like scenarios with the mere existence of the installation. Hopefully encouraging today's society to act more progressively and responsibly in terms of climate ac action and environmental stewardship. Uh, this is the Glue Society's Jonathan Crebone, Jonathan Kneebone, I love that name, K-N-E-E-B-O-N-E, -E -E -E. the Glue Society's Jonathan Kneebone, quote, when people know they are being recorded, it does have an influence on what they do and say. That is our role, if anything, to be something in the back of everyone's mind." Close quote. While some might belittle Earth's black box as a PR stunt designed to capture people's attention, as opposed to a serious scientific documentation project, there is no doubting the world urgently needs more attention and action on these issues, no matter how those eyeballs are secured. In a world where ice sheets are destabilizing in response to unprecedented levels of global warming, where greenhouse gas emissions are headed the wrong way, where water is running out, and where animals are vanishing with such speed that scientists say we have entered our planet's sixth mass extinction, this is not the time to look away. Yes. Quoting the Earth's black box makers, quote, the purpose of the device is to provide an unbiased account of the events that lead to the demise of the planet, hold accountability 
for future generations and inspire urgent action. How the story ends is completely up to us. Close quote. Well, of course, uh, how the story ends is completely out of our control. But, I, uh, you know, someone with a channel name Collapse Chronicles, I certainly cheer on the Earth's black box uh, to uh, give the uh, irradiated cockroaches and future space aliens encountering this burned out planet an idea of what the hell happened. Maybe I, I'm going to send them the complete works of Collapse Chronicles. Uh, I'm going to send that to the University of Tasmania, see if they want to include my interview, I don't know, with Tim Garrett uh, in their black box or not. Uh, but as I say, I'm sticking with my prediction that the uh, that little quarter inch layer of <clears throat> from the plasticine will tell uh, the future geologist all they need to know about the collapse of this planet but now uh, that I have chronicled the collapse of the planet I'm gonna get out there and enjoy this beautiful planet on this gorgeous day while I still can and I advise you do the same bye guys